What up y'all, it's your boy Nick Nieto, aka Nick the Actor, aka whatever the hell y'all want to call me today is alright with me. Look, ignore the attire, ignore the rambling that I'm probably going to be doing in this video. Just got out of the gym and I see Tom McDonald dropped a brand new song called Gravestones. I had the privilege of meeting all of you members of the Hangover Gang, I found out y'all are called, when I first listened to Tom McDonald the other day on People So Stupid. It was my first time listening to him and my god was it a first impression. The dude is killer, he speaks the truth, he doesn't bullshit anybody. It was like listening to something that I should have heard years ago. So it was a breath of fresh air to hear that song and hear Tom and hear his style and what he's gotta say and the way he says it and not to mention the amazing fan base that he's gotten and you guys, the Hangover Gang. Y'all have shown absolute insane love on that video. I really appreciate y'all. What can I say? Tom's got one hell of a fan base. He should be very proud of that. That's not easy to do nowadays. And I'm a part of now because I'm a fan already. I am going to go back and listen to like a lot of his, his older stuff and kind of work in sequential order from what a lot of y'all recommended. But he just dropped this Gravestones song and music video today. And apparently it's an intro, I guess, on his new album. It's the intro track. It's also the title track, I believe. I'm not going to sit here and try and ramble, ramble, ramble and all that good stuff. Uh, but shout out everybody. Shout out Hangover Gang. Uh, let's do it. A hundred thousand records sold I've been dreaming about this moment since I was seven years old mm. I should probably go home Ride around the city with the top back Screaming y'all with a megaphone Y'all. That's a mood, screaming everybody fuck you with a megaphone Might I say, Tom is iced out And usually I'm not one for a lot of bling and shit But man, he does it just, he does it right He does it right, man Already know I did it independent, controversial records. Since I made it, lost so many friendships. Mm. I wish that I could say I learned my lesson, I regret it. But the only place I give a an alternate dimension. Woo! The only place he gives a fuck is an alternate dimension. You got to go through a couple wormholes, maybe take a left, maybe pop a U turn, and then you'll find the one instance in existence where he gives a fuck. And you, you got to respect anybody that does this independent music, man. Yeah, I guess some people say it's easier nowadays with. Spotify stuff. It's still a grind. Feels like everybody's trying to be an artist and some people or a lot of them don't even have much to say. So when it's somebody like Tom who's out here actually putting out quality music and I can already tell that this one's a totally different vibe than the first one I listened to. This is the second song I've heard of his and I can tell that he's got those different layers to it. He can he can do the controversial, the funny, the, the wild off the wall shit and then he can do this stuff that actually sounds like it's coming from his soul a little bit. I don't know if the whole album's like that. I don't know if maybe that's just, you know, a one-off thing or the other one was a one-off, but you got to respect somebody that's got those multiple layers to their to their skill set. And the dude is coming in and he's just he's just speaking. He's speaking the truth. Independent artist doesn't give a fuck and you lose a lot of friends when you don't give a fuck and sometimes when you show that independence from having to rely on other people and other things. I know he's talking about music, but still I think it's really cool that he's just coming out, he's speaking his mind, he's just kind of, he's kind of, it's more just poetry right here. All this negative attention, what a waste of breath. Give a f about the odds, y'all should place your bets. Mm. Play your cards and then complain, I rigged the game, go ahead, change the deck. I got nothing but some aces left. Mm -hmm. You can change the deck, you can do whatever you want, you can complain about me rigging, you know, being rigged. Place your odds, that whole scheme right there was dope as hell. He said, I got nothing but aces left. He's still going. I got nothing but some aces left. Looking back, all I see is people who are bitter. And if they look my direction, all they'll see is middle fingers. Ooh. Probably hit me up on Twitter. I'ma miss it, though. I ain't worried about a pistol till the trigger's pulled. I ain't worried about a pistol till the trigger's pulled. I don't listen to that talk. I don't listen to that. If you actually... If you actually got something, then that's when I'll respond. That's when I'll 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 allow it to to come into my realm of of my brain space. Unless you're actually talking about something for real, waste of my time. It's, it, it's like that, man. It's always I always thought that was such a cliche, but once you start doing something, especially on his level, I can only imagine the people that probably said, "Oh, da -da 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 -da, whatever kind of bullshit," all of a sudden start coming around on Twitter and stuff, and sucks for them. I ain't worried about a pistol till the trigger's pulled. So I just want to be a legend while I'm still alive. Mm. It seems like hella rappers go on platinum when they die. It's gravestones. It's gravestones. Mm. I just want to be a legend while I'm still alive. It seems like hella rappers go on platinum when they die. It's gravestones. It's gravestones. Before it goes in the next verse that's that's true well it seems like a lot of rappers don't go platinum until they die 
And he's saying, I want to be a legend while I'm still here, while I'm still breathing, while I'm still out here working on it. I want to be a legend now. It's all about, you know, a lot of people think it's just about leaving a legacy afterwards, which is important. And I have no doubt that people like Tom and all these other artists will. But it's even more meaningful when you can do it when you're alive, when you're that far ahead of the curve that you don't have to die before you start going platinum. You start getting that and you start changing the world like that when you're alive and you become a legend when you're living. Living legend. Lately I've been living a dream. I blew out the candles and wished for this when I was 16, mm. ripped jeans. Now I'm hanging out the window of a limo like, what's up? It's me. Mm. Don't trip, I'm just winning, ho. Tried to tell him that I'm wicked, though. I just did a show, every ticket sold. Never missed the goal, I don't hit the post, and I ain't keeping score. But the fish when the whistle blows. Woo! Fisher when the whistle blows, I don't hit the post. I hit, like, he's, he's, he's scoring every time. He doesn't miss. He don't miss. For real though, like it seems like he's just, he's got it down. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's good at what he's doing. Everybody loves what he's doing. He's not missing. And I love that line of, you know, I've been praying for it and wishing for it since I was 16, ripped jeans. And now he's in a limit saying hi. Like, it, that, there's no better feeling, I bet. I, I bet there's no better feeling than realizing, man, this is all that I dream for, and of course there's things that come with that that maybe you don't see when you're that younger age, and a lot of people and shit you gotta deal with that isn't all positive. That's the cost of, of wishing for it, you know? It's just, it's gotta be the best feeling in the world for him to be able to just do this, and not only just from a monetary success point, but to be able to put out art that people love and are listening, and he's really changing lives with his music. There's no other better feeling than for somebody that wished that since they were that young. It's, there, there can't be any better feeling. I'm offensive, I respect if you don't feel it But my dog just died, so I got bigger to deal with mm. than feelings Stay mad, I'ma keep to myself I'ma do it for the people who really needed my help The death threats all preceded my wealth Turns out it's ghost stories they repeatedly tell mm. uh, And every man needs to know where he came from Cause he's headed for a gravestone Every man needs to know where he came from Cause he's going to a gravestone Damn this is like poetry, man, and you got, this is, you know, it, it really is, and I said it already, but it's so nice to see an artist like this who can do the crazy stuff, the different flows, the fun stuff, even, I mean, the funny stuff in some sense of the word, not that it's something to just laugh at, but that he can come and he can have this avenue and he can go down this, this way and he can just hit with this stuff that's meaningful from the soul and he's just preaching right now and you know, you gotta respect somebody that can do that. It's not easy to do that because it's easy to drop a beat and say a bunch of mumble shit and get, you know, a number one record. But people who are actually putting out their independent music, letting their actual soul out there, just bearing it for all, and actually connecting with an audience and a fan base, it, there's nothing better than that, man. You can't convince me that there's anything better than that. And it's like he's saying, he's got bigger fish to fry. If you don't agree with him, that's fine. He's not here to deal with feelings, though. So if it's just your feelings, then he's got bigger. He's got bigger shit to deal with. Know where he came from? Cause he's headed for a gravestone. God, that's hard. I just wanna be a legend while I'm still alive. It seems like hella rappers going platinum when they die. It's gravestones. It's gravestones. I just wanna be a legend while I'm still alive. It seems like hella rappers going platinum when they die. It's gravestones. It's gravestones. gravestones Every single night has been a blur I've been hella tired of hearing I should wait my turn mm. I'm just taking what I earn Y'all still owe me for the songs you never heard Couple hundred million views not even close to what they worth Hella people acting like they work Claim they got a bag but they barely got a purse Woo! Y'all claiming y'all got a bag, y'all barely got a purse Man, speak to him, Tom don't let them do you like that. Don't let them do you like that. Claim they got a bag, but they barely got a purse. Claim the grass is greener, but I touch it and it's turf. Claim your team is wolves, y'all ain't even rocking fur. Sick of that grass is greener line is hard. Y'all say the grass is greener. Feel like turf to me. That feel like some bullshit. <laughs> This is greener, but I touch it and it's turf. Claim your team is wolves, y'all ain't even rocking fur. Mm -hmm. I'm just sick of all the fake. I don't like the way they move. I don't like the things they say. I know none of that is true. Mm -hmm. They say they've been at the lake, but they really at the pool. They say they be getting paid, but they only rent a room. <sighs> he said y'all ain't shit. 
Y'all pretending to be, y'all ain't. Y'all ain't it. Y'all ain't it. If y'all look side by side, y'all can sit there. And f a lot of a lot of these people, a lot of these artists, I'm sure, probably piss off people like the like like Tom and it's like y'all y'all claiming y'all are on y'all are y'all are in the greener pastures. Y'all are in the the better side of life. Y'all flexing and everything like that, but that's some faux fur. <laughs> I move my family out the hood like we not made for the ghetto And I'm so close to the top that when I yell there's an echo I get anxiety whenever a new stranger says hello 50 minutes of fame became a two hour special was Damn! 15 minutes of fame? Don't know it Tom got a two hour special man People probably say that all the time Especially when he pops trending and stuff And he's gotta deal with that bullshit But when you sell as many records as he has it sounds like When you got the fan base that he has that's not 15 minutes of fame, that's something much bigger. Something hard to attain. Moving his family out the ghetto, it wasn't meant for him. You just gotta respect the, the grind it takes to get where he's gotten from the whole, I can only imagine. I'm, I'm blown away. 15 minutes of fame became a two hour special, what's up? I just wanna be a legend while I'm still alive. It seems like hella rappers go on platinum when they die. It's gravestones. It's gravestones. I just want to be a legend when I'm still alive It seems like hella rappers go on platinum when they die It's gravestones It's gravestones Video by Nova That's so dope that she does the videos too Y'all let me know about that on the last video That she does all these videos and you know that's, You talk about a power couple man One, I mean and I like that video. The video didn't have to be over the top. He wasn't trying to do anything extravagant over the top. It was perfectly well done. I mean, it's nice, simple, it's meaningful. The shots were intimate. You felt what he was feeling. Great video, great song. What the fuck, man? I can't, I still, I'm still mad at myself. It's like I'm real angry with myself that I hadn't heard of Tom before. That I didn't, I didn't click on one of those videos earlier, but Better late than never, man. He, he's made a big fan out of me, especially with this. This one even got more respect because I now I know he's not just, you know, not just a rapper that can do one thing. And those are great rappers. There's a lot of great rappers that can do that. But, man, there's something to be said about the ones that have a lot of different range to them. And they can be off the wall, you know, bonkers, crazy, triggering people. And the ones that could just sit there and be real and still tell it how it is, still be as real as hell, and just lay it all out there. And that's exactly what he did with this one. I'm excited to check out his album when it comes out. Y'all be sure to pre-order or wherever it is. Go support the man. Go check out the actual music video yourself if you haven't watched it yet. Um, we gotta support dudes like this, man. We gotta support dudes that are out here actually working independent, not just, you know, trying to fit a mold and are, are doing something different. You got to respect that nowadays, and especially somebody as real and just freakishly talented as he is. Tom, mad love, brother. Killed it. Amazing video. I'm a new fan. And thank you to Hangover Gang for welcoming me with open arms into the family. I'm excited to go back. I'm going to probably start with White Boy. I have not. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm going to go back and listen to White Boy and No Response and all the ones that y'all said. I'm going to do them as soon as I can. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of Tom McDonald on the channel. I, uh, I feel it. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching as always. I know times are crazy right now, and I hope you and yours are doing all right. I know everybody's still got busy schedules, so it still means the world to me for you to be watching the videos with me and uh, just stopping by the channel. If you're new around here, give the video a thumbs up if you can. That really helps out the channel. really means a lot to me. It lets me know that y'all like the video. Y'all are... Y'all are part of Hangover Gang. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and you like the channel. Check out my other videos. Feel free to check them out. Subscribe if you want or don't. It's no, no sweat off my back. Either way, I appreciate you just watching the videos with me, like I said. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are having a good day, good week, good month, good whatever you're having right now. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap.